Unseasonal skies greeted the teams for the final of this year's Intercore T20 Championship. Having won the toss, the AGC opted to bat first, hoping to beat the ball and the breeze. The batsmen were quick to master the conditions. Despite the wind speed picking up, so too did the run rate, with Varun Bali timing this shot nicely to the boundary. Fellow opener Alam was keen to keep the Royal Artillery bowlers on the back foot, sending the ball to the rope. But with the score on 25, the Gunners grabbed the breakthrough, Nick Schofield taking a smart catch from his own bowling to see off Alarm. Schofield now had the measure of his AGC opponents and claimed his second wicket soon after. This time, Varley saw his tame effort classed by Alex Park with the score 32 for 2. Liam Farrell was the next to fall. A brilliant diving catch from Craig Ross was his undoing to give Mishak Belfon his only wicket of the match. But crucially, the AGC was stuttering at 62 for three. Feeling the pressure, the batting side continued to flounder. Testing the arm of Graham Wiseman, it was the fielder who won this brief battle, helping to run out Walid Ahmed. The score now was 65 for four. Steve Booth trapped latter fat LBW as the AGC middle order collapse continued to leave them reeling at 69 for 5. Desperate for runs, Sarandran went on the attack, sending this delivery out of the ground for a valuable six. Regan McLean helped the AGC tail to wag with further blows to the boundary. By the interval, the AGC had scored 137 for seven from their 20 overs, a tricky target in challenging conditions. Fresh from his exploits with the bat, Sarandran soon had the artillery in plenty of bother at the start of their reply. Harrison Clark, the first to fall, with just one run on the board. The gunner's skipper, Alex Park, departed the following over. He was dismissed by the smiling Solomon to make it two for two. And when Wiseman saw his wicket tumble just a few balls later, the Gunners were in danger of being skittled out cheaply. But the arrival of Craig Ross and Oliver Cross at the crease saw the artillery take control of the contest. The pair forged a formidable partnership and began to chip away at the target. They gave the AGC few opportunities and when they did, the fielding side failed to capitalise. Cross crafted his way to a superb 78. With Ross chipping in with an unfaltering 47. Both players were there at the end, with Cross cutting the ball away for a seven-wicket victory. So, after an eight-year wait, the Royal Artillery are once again into core T20 champions. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos like this.